Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. Kenny Burris Tucker done quit the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Quit. She quit the show. That is the narrative that they're pushing. Listen, Variety Magazine uh, has the news. Kenny Burris is out there on the Grammy Red Carpet. She's doing some corresponding work, so I think that's pretty dope. Shout out to her. But listen, they write, Candy Burris has announced that she will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the Bravo reality series has, that she has appeared on since 2009. She discussed her decision with Variety's Mark Malkin on the Grammys red carpet today. She says, I'm not really keeping up right now. When asked about the show, she says, I'm not keeping up. OK, I already said it. So I'll tell you, I decided that I'm not coming back this year. It's been 14 seasons, 14 seasons as the longest running housewife of all time the longest running housewife of all time is no longer a housewife she says and they allowed us to sit around for a little too long okay remember about a week or two ago she went on to amazon live and said bravo is tripping because she is booked and busy and got things going on and they won't tell her what's up okay listen uh but during that time she says i had started working on a lot of other things and i got some nice big projects coming soon so i'm super excited about those things but it's not just that she continued it's just like after you really have time to think and a friend of mine was like why do you keep going back and she was like well i think because i've just been doing it for so long it feels weird to think of me not doing it and you can tell while watching the show that Candy is disinterested, that she really doesn't want to be friends with these girls, that she really wouldn't really be hanging out with these girls. Um, she's always, you know, she 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 always comes across on camera as like, I'm too, not too good, but like just over it. She's just over it, disinterested, just like bored of the drama, bored of the girls, bored of everybody, bored of production in the show and Bravo and Andy and everybody else. So, you know, mm. She's been over it for a few years, probably at this point. But I don't believe it when she says, you know, I've just been doing it for so long. It's just weird not to think about it. No, the reason why she keeps going back is because it's a marketing tool for her businesses. OK, Red Housewives of Atlanta has been a 14 year, uh, you know, commercial for Candy and her businesses. OK, the Candy Factory Inc. OK, LLC. Listen, um. So she says, yeah, it would feel weird not doing it, yada, yada, but I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a moment. I'm not coming back this year. It's the end of an era, which this is a major cash shakeup. So first off, am I sad to see Candy go? No. OK, I'm not sad to see her go. Uh, but that's not shade, right? I feel like she's doing Broadway and she's corresponding at the Grammys and she's doing movies and she's doing all black network and she has you know, directing and producing movies with her husband, Todd Tucker, that's on Peacock. And she just has so much going on. She has old lady games. She has blade steak and seafood. She has a bedroom candy, which they're calling a pyramid scheme. <laughs> they're calling bedroom candy a pyramid scheme because it's like a MLM, MLS, MLM. Anyway, she has all of this stuff going on. She has um the lipstick. Don't she sell makeup and tags boutique and all of that other stuff so and she's arguably one of the most successful housewives of all time and so so i just kind of feel like she can go off and do her own thing and on top of that she seems disinterested in the makings of this reality tv show in the first place so it's just kind of like yeah she can go right now has she contributed a lot to the show absolutely i mean we've seen her kids grow up we uh have seen riley grow up we saw um her be engaged to Todd and her marriage and her children and the blended families and the surrogacy and her uh, shenanigans with uh, Mama Joyce and her, you know, explosive situation with Phaedra and her fighting with Portia and, you know, her almost, I think, who did she fight when she was like, I will drag you in this bitch? Who was she trying to fight? Anyways, we saw Redhead Candy, the dungeon tour. We saw her open up her restaurants. I mean, we've seen the past 14 years of this woman's life um, and I think that's incredible. I feel like it, it it was an incredible run. And, you know, when I say I'm not sad to see her go, that is not shade at all. That's not saying that she has not had iconic moments onto the show, but everybody has their time and place. And I just kind of feel like maybe this was her time and place. Now, do I feel like she left off on a great no note? Excuse me. No, I don't. I felt like, you know, to end your 14 year reign, I feel like you should end your reign on top not at the bottom and what I mean by that is the last season was like one of the worst seasons ever um so that kind of sucks but at the end of the day like 
She's booked and busy. She's successful and she won't hurt that much. I don't think. Now, will the businesses not business as much now that she doesn't have the marketing machine of Bravo in her back pocket? I am not too sure, but I kind of feel like Candy has built her name up so much and she's built her brand up so much and she's such a staple of Atlanta now that she has cemented her role in the entertainment space. And I feel like that name will carry and she will continue to do great things. So, yes. Who do y'all feel like is going to replace Candy Burris Tucker? Is it going to be Kenya Moore fighting off Marlo by herself? Oh my God. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. Like the video. Don't forget to vote for me for content creator of the year and YouTuber of the year at the Boss Babe Awards. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to create a great day. Bye.